Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Sunday the 20th of December, a short break in our turkey plucking schedule or turkey preparation schedule and we're out here in a field of Frederica winter wheat. This was drilled on the 13th of October with the sky drill into mustard and I've got my faithful square with me so we'll just take a quick plant count here and then we've got also some uh, later drilled uh, sky into mustard to review as we walk around here and don't worry on my way home I'll also pick up the cultivated in ground so that'll be uh, hopefully all of our different establishments methods covered so here we have it the mustard stalks are still quite visible this has been grazed and here's our square so i did actually read the instructions of the from the ahdb model again and it suggested putting the square in diagonally across the rows so i've revised it this time so a friend actually called me this week and asked how did i manage to color in these plants it is just done on powerpoint um but and I have speeded it up it is sped up about six times um, somebody else commented on the comment section and said that they dig up uh, plants and uh, wash them off I think that would be more accurate but my problem is that um, I suppose I don't really want to uh, destroy a meter I know it's not very much but uh, this plant, this idea really came to me because I was wondering if I could use my drone to fly over the crop and drop the square, take a picture and move on. That's where I devised this technique. So in total, I got 163 leaves, assuming three leaves per plant. That would give us 54 plants per square and multiplying that up by four, 216 plants per meter squared so as i walk along i see these wheelings at six meters we still get quite a few and it's a concern that we might not get as good a germination in the row uh, where the wheelings due to compaction and you can see here we've got a row of wheat nothing in the middle and then a row of wheat down here now going to the so this is a tram line. We go to the next one. You can actually see row of wheat, row of wheat, row of wheat, row of wheat, row of wheat. Even though, I don't know if the camera picks it up, it's quite clearly a wheeling down the middle here. Actually, it's coming up, which is a huge relief to see because this field was also pressed so the culti press came down after the after the sky drill and used the six meter traffic lanes so each one of these lanes has had at least two passes so it's quite a relief to see it coming up so here we are in the Chilterns this field, the top of this field has um, up to about the poles between the, the telegraph pole just there and me is some quite rich ground. I think it's because it's close to the farm buildings and animals were turned out historically here. Um, so it's got some poke to it. So it's probably not a fair example, but this is Frederica following winter beans so this was drilled with the Claydon whilst we were still waiting for our heavy land to dry out so we'll do a quick count of this and uh, see how it stacks up next to the sky so this field with the Claydon we count 171 leaves but there are certainly more leaves per plant. So I've assumed four gives a count of 43 plants, a total of 172 plants per meter squared. 
So this is field after mustard. Again, uh, Frederica winter wheat planted on the 13th of November. So a month after that last one. So uh, we'll have a look. Sun just coming up. Okay, go down. Here's our square. When I was counting these leaves, it was quite noticeable. There was some slug grazing, but in total it was 28 leaves. Uh, the plants were single leaf, so that gives us 28 plants per square, 112 plants per meter squared. So fingers crossed we've still got some seed to emerge. So when we recorded the original drilling video for this field, I said, how nervous I was about whether it would actually go in this section which hadn't received any mustard because the objective of the mustard is for the roots to hold the topsoil together now it's not very clear in that direction but if we turn around I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up but the rows of wheat quite clear in this section where there wasn't any mustard whereas in this section they're a lot harder to see just zoom in so that's the mustard section and that is the non-mustard section and it's often a complaint you get from direct drilling systems that you don't get the level of establishment that you do um, from a conventional system but I think it's also to do with line of sight in the fact that you can't see um, you can't see so we've taken um, a square from the left hand side I'll also do a square on the right hand side well, there you have it. I'm wrong. Uh, a total of 77 leaves. One leaf per plant gives 77 plants per plastic square and 308 plants per meter squared. So you, the eye is right. There are more plants where there isn't a cover crop. So I just wanted to summarize whilst I was at the top of this hill how we're getting on. So that field, that's been planted, that's been planted, that one's just been sprayed off. Uh, the sheep have finished grazing it, but it's been sprayed off. And this one at the top, sheep went out yesterday, so that was the 18th of December. And this one here that we're standing in, that's also been planted. So the question will be whether we get an opportunity, a frosty day or something, where we can come back into this one and then we will need to spray it and realistically it's pretty steep so i will probably keep this one till the spring so that's where we are on this block of land so i just wanted to share this scene with you as the claydon image square we put down previously was right up there and now we're down in the valley this is some stronger land here again drilled with the claydon and what do we say the 13th of october when we took this farm over, it had um, serious black grass problems in, in sort of this section of the valley here. And um, it's one of the serious benefits we've seen of being able to extend our drilling window is that we've managed to get the black grass back under control on this lighter land. It is light land, it's, it's not our heavy clays, but um, it is quite clean and we're pretty pleased with the results really has really come on so there are benefits to having access to this certain this type of land certainly so this is a field where we spun on the wheat and about 300 kilos a hectare and then cultivated it in with a springtime cultivator we're a little bit concerned about these thicker patches um, they seem to be in the middle between two tram lines, so I'm not sure if it's due to spread pattern, but we did tray test the spreader when we set it up. So I won't put my 
square down here. I'll put it down on this lighter area in the middle and we'll have a count. So in total, 239 leaves. The plants are tilled up quite well. There were four leaves. So 60 plants per plastic square, 240 plants per meter squared. So this was planted on the 12th of October and really shows you what a difference time and temperature makes. Most of the plant counts we've done to date have shown in excess of 170 plants per meter squared, which was the aim. Therefore, uh, one question it does bring to light is whether we could afford to drop our seed rates.